What's going on guys? It's Clutch Films. I'm showing you guys some 3v3 comp pro when we were playing. This is going to be some post commentary because we were talking about some stuff and you know it just didn't go with the game so I figured I'd just go ahead and give you guys a little post comp for this. But we went ahead and we're playing some. We had a two plane making shot creators which is me and then our dog and then small joys on his glass cleaning lockdown. Now he has badges but he's only like a 70 overall so you'll see throughout the game he will miss some rebounds that you know you would expect him to get and I think at this point I was a 91 I'm almost a 92 now I got double bar which I didn't even know was a thing but it happened and then our dog is a I think he had hit 80 or 81 at this point he's now like an 84 but we've been going on I've got some badges now if you guys want me to drop a video on what my favorite badges have been so far for my player, if you guys want to see an overview of what my player's like, how I built him, all that, I can do that too. Just leave a like below. Um, I have noticed this year, guys, that like you have to have a big man. If you don't have a big man on 3v3s, it's not like years before where you could kind of cheese with a small forward. I think you truly have to have a center or at least a 7 plus foot power forward. Um, you need you need a guy that can handle. I mean, ripping the ball out of people is so much easier this year than before. It's honestly ridiculous. And then having a long wingspan at the two is so important. Like we lack it because we're running six four, six five guards. But when we ran with my paint beast and we ran with you know other builds around us, it, we've noticed that it's been a lot easier to get a contest on people. So right here, you guys can see we were already jumped out to a 7-0 lead. This team was just not as good as us. And we we honestly were playing pretty well, but they were missing open shots. And I mean, hey, not everything's going to fall, but on this game, you got to have the open ones fall or it's just not going to go your way. I'm still learning how to ISO this year. I mean, you can ask anyone around. ISOing and dribbling this year is so different than years before. I mean, I think I've only dropped two or three people all year, and that's because I had takeover. And since I have playmaking takeover, it's ridiculous that they don't have good defensive badges. I just do a quick snatch back, and they're on the ground. Now you're going to see here, we do run this kind of defense where we play sides, but sometimes we have a little miscommunication because some games we choose not to run sides. and you know. But honestly, I think, guys, sides is the way to go. If you're playing against two shooters and one's not like a stretch four at the two where the point guard can't guard them, it's probably good and like for us we're both guards so like we can switch either away we're both gonna be in a mismatch height wise um easily hands down guys if you guys haven't noticed with me driving to the basket i do have silver giant slayer now i chose finishing badges over defensive badges just because i figured being able to finish the basket is gonna be more important for me as a point guard and i had tried contact finisher i didn't really like it that much i heard giant slayer was pretty op I put Silver Giant Slayer on guys and I can get to the basket so much easier. I finished with so much lower contest rates. I mean, the animations were honestly better, like you, you don't do stupid animations. So that was OP. Um, the, I See I've watched 2K Labs do a video, they say Dimer's really good. We haven't really noticed a big difference because our dog does run with the Hall of Fame Dimer. And my shot doesn't seem to fall much more than it does normally but I mean if they say it works they, they know what they're talking about out there they do their research they do their stuff but um, floor general I was looking at getting from a guy and let me know if you guys think floor general is worth it but for me I was like the a Hall of Fame you get the percentages but I don't really know what the percentages are gonna help me since I'm a point guard it's not like I'm gonna be able to get in rebounding situations and whether I pass it to you because I think you're open for a shot or not, you're going to shoot it. Not I'm not making you shoot it, so I don't think it's worth it. And my career is probably kind of OP because you'll be able to see what players can shoot where. But as you guys can see here, glass cleaning takeover is way more OP than rim protecting takeover. And I absolutely love it. And I don't know what's going on here, guys, but we just got the easy dub, so we're like... Let's just go and throw up some shots. And I don't know what happened, man, but I clank the first one. They give it back to me. I turn around, and you know I drain the second one because I am not missing twice in a row like that. So we won our first game 22-2. As you guys can see, easy dub. No worries at all. I almost shot 75%, but, you know, you, sometimes you just miss the open ones. So right here, we're playing some all-star ones. I almost a superstar, but... Thank goodness we're not playing superstars yet. I've played a couple 99s, they're OP. Wouldn't want to play a guy who actually knows how to play park. 
So we're playing these guys. They look like they're pretty good. Um, I get stuck in the corner. I kick it out. And now this is the problem that we have of our team. Is sometimes we have trouble with flo floor separation. But Richie was a shot creator last year. And guys, let me tell you, that man with his step backs and hop steps, he's almost unstoppable as long as he doesn't have like some 6 foot 10 lockdown on him that just gets the easy animations. And right there, Smalljoy gets post spin, which if you're a dribbler, you know the struggle. The post spin is absolutely ridiculous because they slow down our dribbling, they slow down our momentums, they mess up all the stuff for dribblers, and then post scores can still do their same post spin to get by people. And let me tell you guys, I abuse the crap out of that on my team. Any player that's got spin move, I just go post spin over and over and over and you get to the basket. But I mean, right there, you guys saw again, Richie did this little step back, bang. He hits those more often than he hits a standing off the catch with silver catch and shoot. And man, I don't get it. Because like for me, we're almost the same exact build. For me, I got to be spot up or I got to pull up. Like I, I can't shoot those fadeaways for some reason. I got higher difficult shots than he does. As you guys can see right here though, I do get into a little bit of trouble on defense. I do tend to foul if I get beat, which is sometimes smart play, but sometimes I rack up too many fouls. So right there, Richie sees me, he spots me. It's a 4% contest and I miss. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. I may get dead eye next or I may get range extender. I want range extender because if you guys ever play, you usually assume that people don't have range extender and you let them shoot the deep shot and they usually hit it because they have range extender. So right there, Richie misses another off dribble shot. We are having trouble shooting, but they're having trouble too, so it's all okay. Um, right there, bang, hits it in his face. Guys, the green window for some people are just crazy hot. Like some people can green with like 30% contest. And I don't get it at all. I can't even, I can barely hit a shot with 9% contest. Right there, I don't know what my dude was doing. He tried to do some fancy little layup, got blocked. You know, I don't even think I have a layup package on my guy yet. Because I haven't figured out which one I want yet. I used to do Kyrie. Kyrie's too fancy. I used to do LeBron, but LeBron didn't really work for guards. Like, it just kind of all depends. Right there, I took another dumb layup. Guys, I don't know what I was doing, but I was selling early. We're down 7-4. They pull up on the fast break. They hit it. It's 9-4, guys. We need to make this comeback. So I don't know, I, I was done with the ball, I didn't want the ball anymore, I was like, you run point, I'll, I'll stay off ball, I'll try to find myself get open. He pulls up again with the fadeaway, hits it, I'm telling you guys, some players are spot up shooters and some players are like that. He is just off fadeaways, off step backs, he's wet. So right here guys, it's 9-6, it's only a 3 point game, we're not too worried, they pass it down their big man, their big man steps, takes it, easy dunk almost all the time, sadly we haven't figured out how to fix that. We're using pickpocket now, both me and Richie, and it's helping us, but we I can't run at least pickpocket and interceptor. I come all the way around, pull a little Tony Parker in the basket, green at three, and guys, let me tell you, I feel good again. I feel like I can hit my shots. I'm back, the snowflake's off me, and I'm feeling good, and then I leave him wide open for a three, and it's again a five-point game. And let me tell you guys, we were on a four-game win streak. We would not want to lose this. So we're coming down the court. Hit a little step back. I should have shot right there. Took a little hezzy. I kicked it out to Richie. Richie doesn't green it. And his guy fakes the green. Guys, let me tell you when the CPU does that is the worst thing ever. I hate when the CPU fakes like they think they made it. So right here, guys, we are down by five. We, we, we're locking them up for the most part. But we get bailed. They get bailed out a lot against us. And they score points. And it happens to us in almost every game. We hold them for the first 24 seconds. And then they get a bailout. Right here, I play good defense, but their man gets the rebound. This is what I'm saying. We played good defense for 24 seconds, and they get a bailout. So right here, we give me the inbound. It's 16-9, guys, and now we are stressed. Because we thought we were coming back, and they ripped me. Guys, I have silver unpluckable, and I'm getting ripped nonstop. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I have to figure out what's wrong with my ball handling. Because I get ripped more than Richie, and Richie doesn't even run dribbling badges. Now maybe it's because he does simpler moves, maybe he doesn't. And right there again, step back, mid-range, green. Guys, I'm not kidding with you. Dr off dribble shots this year are OP because of the fact they're not being a separate off dribble. And it's literally just your rating. So like you can shoot just as well off dribble as you can standing as long as your shot's nice. Now right there, that man hits 18-11. We are down by 7, guys. 
and we don't know if we can make this comeback. And when we're down like this, we four shots. But right there, I hit a wide open shot. It's only a four point game. I think we're still in this. What do you guys think? 18 14, they're coming down the court. This is where we're usually looking to try to get a steal as they force a three. And we try not to commit and help too much on defense. And right there, Small Joy slaps the ball out off him. Four point game. It's back our ball. And we got momentum because, guys, we are on a 3 0 run. We stop him twice in a row on defense. And we're coming back down the court again. Right here again, the lack of court spacing. But we find our way out of it usually. Good thing enough is Small Joy's played with guards before, so he somewhat knows dribbling enough that he can usually avoid and get out. So right there, I'm taking in stupid layup, but I get it because Giant Slayer got me an 11% covered layup. Guys, if without Giant Slayer, that's a 100% smother, and I'm probably getting sent to the stands in a block. But we got it. It's 18-16. We're still feeling comfortable. We're just going to lock up the three-point line. You're going to see here, me and Richie do not help. We stay out, stay out on our men. And I come over and I ask for that ball because I'm like, give me the rock. This is my game. I get a wide open shot. I pass out. We kick over to Small Joy. And Small Joy had Richie. He knew he could have kicked it. But they reach. It was a smart reach. 18-16. Small Joy's in the party. You know, now we got to worry about it because now we got to keep talking. We all told him to shut up. It's all good. Uh, we, we needed our concentration right here. So Richie's getting, getting a nice little double. He steps back. 27% covered. And man, he misses. And we got worried. But the man shoots the mid-range. Guys, that is the most annoying thing ever on 2K. Is when you're on the fast break and you shoot mid-range. Small Joy fakes it. Kicks it back out. Wide open. And we miss again, guys. It's still 18-16. Let me tell you guys, we were sweating at this point. Richie gets a steal. Because, man, when we sweat, dude, we go for some steals. I mean, we, we might risk a lot for him, but we get them usually. Right there, I get popped. That's what I'm saying right there. And I have a little... A little frustration foul, but you know, it's just to make sure that make sure we didn't get up an easy basket, you know, having it slide all over. So I already have a D plus teammate grade, so I'm a little worried about my teammate grade, but he pulls up, he misses, they grab the board, they get another open shot, but they miss again, guys. This is like seven straight misses this game. It is ridiculous. But without those misses, <laughs> we would have lost already. So we're coming down the court, we got the dribbles, I got it, to like 2% covered, 2% covered, Giant Slayer is OP, okay, I'm not lying to you guys, if you are a guard, just get Giant Slayer, I don't care if it's bronze, silver, gold, get it, if you drive to the basket, you're going to want this bad. So right here, we knew they were playing the 3, I watched the pick and roll, now we've tried to convince them that with our pickpocket, and I have like a 75 steal. If you just hold on and let me pick off the passing lane, it's good. And I green the come up shot. We won 21-18, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please leave a like if you guys want to see what other badges I use, what my build is. You guys want to see what our other builds are. I'll let you guys all know in another video. But again, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit that bell. And I'll see you guys all later.